When I reached Denmark, I really uh, liked Denmark because of its greenery, forest, happy people, uh, very simple people but very happy and uh, I liked the space, they had a lot of space. Um, they are uh, very, very professional as well and uh, very friendly people because I thought, you know, it's a cold country, people are very strict but not at all, they take time to listen to you, to understand and to do whatever uh, that you want to make you feel comfortable and I love this place, it's, uh, everybody told it's a cold country but when I reached Denmark it was a sunny uh, weather, uh, when we reached the airport it was quite cute and modern. Everywhere where I went it was so modern, so clean, so nice and, um, and I thought, you know, I could, uh, I could be part of uh, this country. So that's what I feel and a lot of good food and uh, good nature and everything is very close to from the airport to the city it's a, it's a, it's very close and in between the Copenhagen city it's a walkable city so it's very good for the Indians who don't like to walk too much so they can walk from the hotel to Tivoli Garden for example it's according to where they are placed we were staying at the Tivoli Garden so it is very well uh, you know the first day we walked we spent an hour and we met some people to ask uh, the address of the uh, Nihaven. They looked at us and they said, do you really want to walk up to Nihaven? I said, yes. And you know, it's 45 minutes walk. I said, no problem, we will walk. And we enjoyed, we went through the Stroget Street, Stroget, wonderful shopping uh, road and uh, wonderful monuments and fountains. And I think Indians will love to, uh, to walk down the uh, streets and Nihaven is a wonderful place to go have a dinner or lunch and they love to spend time to, to, to see places. They don't like museums but one or two museum and one cathedral but I think they will love to uh, be part of uh, Copenhagen. To, it's, um, it's how it is and then close by we, they can also go around, take a bike and uh, they would love biking because in India it's not very safe to ride a bicycle but here it's very 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 safe and uh, what we all were impressed they have the bikes uh, lanes which we are not used to so that also we had good fun uh, riding bicycle riding rickshaw also but what maybe not for Indians because we have already rickshaw but I think maybe if you're if the, they are here in this atmosphere I think rickshaws also could be fun for elderly people for example and uh, I think kids would love this place as well you have a lot of activities, like we went to the Viking uh, village where the kids were dressed up uh, in, uh, in Little Viking. They would love to do that, even for incentives. They would love to experience to making a roti and uh, the, 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 the meals of the Vikings and to spend time there because it's green and it's uh, experiencing a new culture. It's a great way to understand uh, the culture of uh, Denmark. So uh, it is a wonderful country uh, where Indians would love to uh, come and explore and it's a great value for uh, money and good quality of life uh, where I don't think so any other European country can offer. So yeah, definitely I think it's going to be a big hit uh, sailing on the boats uh, on, the, on, the, on the city and uh, uh, the buildings, the hotels, the people, everything is really great. I really liked, I really felt secure, I really f I'm really feeling very happy to be a part of uh, here today and spend a few, uh, few days.